Salutations, brethren of the Six String Ilk, and welcome to Bassac Guitars, with today's protagonist, the Barracuda! Barracuda is a stylish, retro-modern rethink of the classic double cutaway design, hand-built by Matthias Meyer from Germany at Bassart Guitars. You could call it Vintage Plus. It keeps everything that we love and cherish about the original while updating playability and versatility. And if you look closely, you can see that this guitar is as much about looks as it is about sound. And trust me, it has bucket loads of both. It's a one-piece alder body with a bolt-on curly maple neck with a sort of vintage profile, an ebony fretboard, 650mm scale, 12-inch radius, 22 Wagner 6105 frets and truss rod axis at the end of the fretboard. If you want a different neck, for instance, Siri coat, rosewood or ash, that is all possible. After all, Bassart is a custom shop. The clues on vintage style tuners on the one end and a Diego Deluxe vintage trem with an aluminium block at the other make for a great combination. Alternatively, you can have a two-point knife edge tremolo or a Floyd Rose with locking tuners. Before we go to the electrics, let's have a little look at the finish. More than comparable metallic flake finishes, this one is rather tricky to get right. While the base coat of varnish is still wet, real metal particles have to be spread evenly and by hand over the entire body before the top coats give it a smooth surface. You have one shot at it, or you can start all over again. And watching Matthias Maya do this is something to behold. If red isn't yours, we have a variety of colors to choose from. For instance, sparkle blue, or if sparkle just isn't your thing, plain black. The electrics are Harry Heusel, because we love them. And this is a blues set. It comes with a true spacing option, built to follow the string spacing as it widens from neck to bridge, meaning the neck pickup has slightly closer magnet poles than the bridge pickup. This way, the strings always run absolutely centrally over the magnet poles. The pickups give you exactly that sort of vintage plus sound that you get from a slightly hotter single coil and then some. The controls consist of one master volume and one master tone. The third is a speed pot, meaning that it only turns 70 degrees, and it works as a blender. And this is the point where the sounds catch up to the looks. If you have the pot open, the five-way switch gives you exactly those pickup combinations that you know and love. If you turn the blender and the five-way switch is in the bridge position, you will have the bridge pickup 
and the neck pickup, but the neck pickup will be slightly quieter. If you move it to the next position, you will have the bridge, the middle and the neck. And again, the neck will be slightly tapped. If you have it in the middle position, all pickups are on equally and the game basically reverses as soon as you get to the next position, which would mean the neck and the middle are on, but the bridge is slightly tapped, while in the last position you have the neck and the bridge with the bridge slightly tapped. <sighs> That's nine sounds out of one guitar. But trust me, it's not quite as complicated to use as it is to explain. This is, as I said, a sort of a vintage plus version with some old school points like the trem and the tuners and some updated modernisms like the frets and the truss rod axis. But if you're more of the shred affinity, there are standard variations of the Barracuda with Floyd Rose, humbucker, single coil, single coil or humbucker, single coil, humbucker pickups, 24 frets, slimmer necks, larger radiuses and many more. And if any of these variations leave anything to be desired, well then just head out to Bassart Online, contact Matthias Meyer, and he will make sure that all your wishes become first a possibility and then reality. And that is me out. Peace. <laughs>